We got it, Jens. Jag har landat dubbelt håll. Tack så jävla mycket. Det är inte jävla nice. Du ser, det är bara skicka för fan. Oh. Ah, that feels awesome. Uh, I meant to do a dub 10, but I guess dub 12 ain't that bad either. Warning. Skiing can always be dangerous and Stompy tutorials and partners accept no liability for any injury or death caused by attempting this. Please get professional help to learn this trick, since most of you won't do that, we give you the best advice to our ability so you can progress your skiing in a safer way. Be careful out there. This is a two part tutorial, but before even considering doing this, learn cork fives and sevens, both small and fast and bigger and then also 1080s and good cork 7s on the trampoline. The first step we're going through is cork to back on trampolines, then we'll look into how to do double corks into a foam pit, and then double corks on the trampoline. Then we look at the water ramps and what to think about that, and then how to get prepared on snow before you actually send it. Step 4, 5 and 6 will be covered in the part 2. Step 1, cork 720 to back. We'll mainly be looking at Eric doing it in this video, since I'm mainly useful for common mistakes, which is fun for, uh, for a change. When Eric does it, and this is how I'd like you to try it as well, wind up some rotation, and when you pop up, make sure that you pop up in the air. You rather look upwards than like back and down. Then you pull in your legs, go for a grab, it helps you to cork faster. Ideally, I want you to finish it by 6.30 and when you land on your back, your head should be towards the same side as Eric has here, providing that you're rotating in the same direction. When I set the cork, you know, I go a little bit like this and then the head has to go down and up and around. So we'll have a look here. When I set it, I go a bit to the side. You see this motion is very long. If we compare it to Eric, who send it like straight back, down and then up. It's a very small mo motion here, compared to me, who's going like, wow, much longer. So that's why it's so important that you really send it up, up and then back. And um, I know it's hard, I had like 10 years of doing it wrong, so yeah, it was hard to unlearn it. And I still didn't quite get it right. I hope we'll get better technique this season. So let's look at it again. At the takeoff, up in the air, and you go straight back into the cork and into the side. At 6.30, you should be finished and start dipping into the next rotation. See how Eric is dipping here, straight back, maybe even a little bit towards the side like that. That's helping him cork out much faster than I do. So you see, I'm going to go into the second cork, I'm tilting to this side, which is less than ideal. Many pros does it as well, when I've been analyzing videos on the internet. And, um, but if you want to do perfect, like, dub tens, triples, and so forth, you want to mastering the, the technique that Eric is using here. Here it looks like, when Eric is doing it on snow, that he is folding in a bit like me. But he really doesn't. You see how the head twists around so fast, it's finished somewhere around 6.30, almost 5.40 actually, because his technique is so good. And then the second cork really comes back to the right hand side, just like it does on the trampoline for him. And man, I wish I had this good technique. But I'm going to keep practicing it on the trampoline and maybe I can do a follow up video on how it goes this coming winter. Once you got that down, you should practice some cork to back onto a big airbag like this or a foam pit. Make sure that you're high enough when you come out of the first cork that if you would pull in your legs, that you will flip over enough that you will not land on your head. Since even if it's soft, you can really hurt yourself. So be careful. 
When I really went for it, I pulled in my knees, I did a knee grab, which is really uncool, but it works. Since you want to be sure that you're gonna make it around, then grab your knees, but once you're comfortable enough, take a safety grab instead. After we discovered that I was marking it a bit too much, we were analyzing how Eric was doing it, comparing it with how I was doing it, and I tried to get it better, but I must say it was rather hard when I've gotten really used to setting it like this. But I kept trying to make it better while doing doubles to the foam pit, which is not really ideal. So if you have this problem, I recommend that you start doing like core 450s to, to stomach to start to fix this problem from the fundamentals. But stubborn as I was, I do not recommend it. I just kept trying doubles and tried to get it better. Step 3, double cork on the trampoline. Make sure you get a nice set by now, otherwise it's going to be difficult. And as you see Eric here, you don't have to cork so hard. And many people think it's stylier to do a slight cork than a flippy one like I'm doing. And have a person throwing a mattress under you in case you f*** up. Like I kept doing there several times over. And see Eric, when he is finished with the first cork, even on the double, he's done it at 6.30. This position is when he would land on his back. But then he has enough hang time that he uncorks the dub 10 and landed on his feet. To summarize it all, start out doing cork to backs, wind up some rotation. As I stressed the entire video, the set is the most important thing you do. So make sure that chest pointing up, and pull up your legs, go for a grab, make sure you finish the first cork at about 6.30, then you dip into the second cork and land with your head pointing about the same direction as Eric here. Step two, double cork to a, a foam pit or an airbag like this. Before you do your first one, make sure you get enough hang time. So if you would pull in your knees, you would flip over your head and land safely on your feet. When you do a double cork on the trampoline, make sure to have a front spot and throw in the mattress underneath you. If you have a perfect set just like Eric, I'm sure you can learn some sweet dub 10s and 12s. If you have a half fast, set like myself, a bit murky, you're likely that you'll do a dub 12 instead since that corking motion is a bit longer and you need more rotation in order to uncork it. In the description below I've added some links to some pros and other writers where you can have a look at other people's sets and have a bit of comments to them. And um, who am I to comment on how they're doing it, but anyhow, check it out, it's pretty interesting to see who's got a sweet set and who don't. Good luck and be careful out there.